in 1996. We experienced our Independence Day. Now, humanity had 20 years to prepare for the return. And this is the best movie they could come up with? Why did you tell me my butt was hanging out? Come on, guys. You had like one and a half boyhoods to get it right. Independence Day Resurgence. You love slash hate it, the original's blend of quality and campiness. Welcome to Earth. Thanks to Will Smith, great effects, and the most epic speech ever. Today, we celebrate our Independence Day. Now, gear up for the return of none of those things. Because now when you think Independence Day, think Judd Hirsch in a road trip with an expanding cast of orphans. All aboard! So weird. The aliens have returned for our liquid hot magma. I think they're after our molten core. And this time, they brought their own gravity. Jesus, it has its own gravity. Their own ecosystem. They have their own ecosystem. And the ability to give you a wicked bad headache. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Up against the ropes, Earth is bringing back all your favorite characters, except your favorite character, featuring Will Smith's fake movie son, who was crippled by an accident that left him entirely without charisma. We'll all try to converge at the same time, but whoever gets to the target first will deliver the payload. One of those handsome Hemsworth brothers, because why not? Vivica A. Fox, the only stripper in history who wasn't lying about saving up for med school. Jeff Goldblum, reprising his most popular role, himself. No, 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 no. The Queen's ship will be no, there no, 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 in two no. minutes. I'm so surprised to see you. A little bad. <laughs> and ex-president Whitmore, who is bound to give a kick-ass speech, topping the last one any second now. Today. He's going to do it. Just wait. Not going to be. Any second now. That's sacred. That's worth fighting for. Oh, here we go. See, random extras are starting to watch. We all have to fight till our last breath. And that is going to lead us to victory. Wait, that's it? That's the big speech? Come on. What happened to we will not go quietly into the night? Hit me with the good stuff. You had 20 years. Follow along for a script so bad, Will Smith chose to do Suicide Squad instead, with no detail too small to be blurted out loud. Can you believe it? You've been in a coma for 7,300 days. Entire subplots that only exist to tell you how much time is left. We do not have seven hours until the Earth core breach. We only have one. And set up for prequels, sequels, and spin-offs that sound way more interesting than the movie you're currently watching. They were hunting us. We had to learn how to hunt them. Aw, I want to see that one. So strap in for the sequel that's twice the size and half the fun, featuring an even bigger doomsday weapon. This one is definitely bigger than the last one. An even bigger disposable CGI army, and more of the global destruction we're completely numb to at this point. <sighs> Wake me up when we get to the sky beam, guys. Oh, oh there it is. Oh, that was fun. Starring. Pretty dry for a white guy. Must cash paycheck. Must catch paycheck. Trade in Smith, the most interesting man in the world. Dumble Data, Rabbi Bagel Rosenstein. She's a killer. Queen. The Pokeball by Apple. The tragic school bus, pandering to Chinese audiences. China has been integral to the Earth's space defense program. Fung Yo Moon Milk. Thank you for using QQ. Ni Piao Liang. And Baby Thor's Flying Roars. <laughs> In Dumb Pendants Day. Ships more than 3,000 miles in diameter. How oh, the hell did we miss this? No, seriously, how did you miss that? It's the size of America, and the movie never explains how you missed it. You had 20 years to write this. Hey, Screen Junkies, have you heard the news? Screen Junkies News. We've launched a second channel devoted to live breaking entertainment news on YouTube. Click the box to the left to check it out and subscribe. But that's not all. We also just launched a new show on Screen Junkies Plus, starring our own Dan Murrell, Dan's Labyrinth. Click the box on the right to check it out and join the conversation live every Monday. Aluminium. This is an announcer voice announcing it's an announcer voice in an announcer voice. Pardon me, are you Aaron Burr, sir? Dormammu, I've come to bargain. Don't blame me, I voted for Kodos. 
I am the cutest puppy in the whole wide world.